Hey, what's up everyone? You know what day it is. Yes, it is the day of the Super Nintendo Classic Mini Edition release. Let's unbox this and play that shit. Let's go. The box is quite small. I mean, you can see my hands. I don't have massive hands. Uh, I've got actually um, tiny little hands for a man. I'm like the Donald Trump of, uh, of uh, video games. So, the box is quite small, hence the Mini is really a good name for it. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of writing, a bunch of pictures at the back of the other box. I don't know if my camera is able to kind of focus on that. Yes, they can. You can see a more detailed list of all of the 20 plus one games as advertised. Um, you guys all know what those games are. I mean, if you chances are um, you've done a bit of research on this, and uh, I don't need to uh, kind of bore you with all the games. Uh, we know there's a bit of Zelda, there's a bit of Mario, uh, and there's Star Fox 1 and Star Fox 2. What is my camera doing this? So, let's get to it. Uh, let's try and get this open there. There we go. If I can try to stay within frame, that would be amazing. And then, there you go. You can pull this out. Uh, you can say goodbye to the box. We leave the box right here. Um, kind of don't want to destroy it. All right, there's an instruction manual, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, I'm sure, this is all very interesting. Operation manual. I shall give it a read maybe later. What have we got? Uh, there we go. First controller, which let's find out if it feels like. Sorry, yeah. yeah, it feels. If, yeah, it is quality. I mean, it's. it's I'm not sure if it's the same size and the original. I would say, yeah, about right about the same. Um, so get the uh, cable out of its package. And there we go. Try not to break it as well. Uh, apparently, from what I've seen um, on other people's videos, the cable is quite long, uh, a lot longer than the NES Classic that came out a few months back, um, which is quite nice. And um, the nice touch from Nintendo is that they've uh, actually added another controller in there um, for this too. You guys can play with your friends or your kids or, you know, your wife if she's into that, or your husband if you're the wife and you're looking at watching this. Uh, there is the console itself. I'm just gonna lift that up and quickly see what's underneath. A oh, hey. nice! I didn't know that. There was a uh, another spare HDMI cable. Thank you, Nintendo. And the um, famous source, famous source of power, which is a regular um, USB-C cable. So that's quite nice. We'll uh, find a way to plug that in, in a bit. And then the the prize. Uh, try to get rid of that, and there it is, the Super Nintendo Classic, I'm just gonna get rid of that, um, Classic Mini Edition, uh, obviously this is fake, because honestly the original cartridge for a Super Nintendo is about as wide, or maybe even wider than this console, so uh, you can't obviously put a game in there, this is nothing, this is just pretend uh, the power button works, the reset button uh, actually I think from what I understand takes you back to the main menu if you're playing a game. Uh, what else you got? You've got the, uh, you know, the fake controller thing, there we go, I'm trying to understand how that works. I'm doing this live, I never actually touch once, I don't know. Come on camera, do your job. The two port for the controllers, one and two, there, it's quite nicely stashed away and then on the back is uh, the, U the USB, the HDMI out and the USB-C um, power connector thing and then on the bottom uh, I guess that's how the original console was so there you go 12, what do you mean 12? I don't know if that's the age um, so there you have it that's the, uh, the that's the controller right next to it Hang on, I'm trying to do that uh, that's the Nintendo, well, Super Nintendo uh, Classic Mini. So uh, let's move to the TV and uh, get this plugged in. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm 
was a bit sorry about the uh, the weird camera angle, but I'm kind of freestyling this right now. Um, one of the issues I've got with this, uh, in particular this USB-C power cable, uh, is that I don't actually have um, a, a good source of power around my TV and the way it's set up to kind of juice this and allow me to play. So what I just noticed is my PlayStation 4 right here um, is currently on its side on a stand and that stand's got three power, well, three USB-C, no I can't even speak, three USB um, out or in, well, three USB ports right there. Um, what I want to try and see is if this actually can draw enough power for me to play this. So this is kind of uh, live on camera, I haven't tried this yet, so you see that the cable is still, yeah, I'm trying this. Um, what I'm going to do as well is steal the um, steal the HDMI cable from the PS4, which should be right, uh, sorry about my, see my beautiful face from up close, uh, should be right behind there, there it is. So I'm going to just plug this uh, into the HDMI out from the Super Nintendo. I'm also going to switch the TV on right now. Uh, hopefully it's on HDMI 1. If not, that'll be weird. You'll get to see the news or uh, CBBC. Oh, tiny pop. Well, there you go. Not really what I wanted, but let's get into HDMI 1. And I'm going to plug this into whatever. I've got three, if I can get into it three USB ports and I'm gonna plug this right here and I'm gonna try to tidy this up because it doesn't look very appealing right now and see if it actually works uh, where is the controller right here boom there's one bang so we're gonna try and switch this on and see if that actually works let's find out There you go, it does work. Hey, thank you PlayStation. So this is the, um, the first thing you'll see once you um, initially switch on your SNES Mini Classic. So let's go, I'm happy with English somehow, probably. Um, okay, yep, yeah, cool. And there we go. Here is the list of games. Uh, I'm gonna go one by one. Again, I'm pretty sure you guys all know what's on offer here. So Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, what? Donkey Kong Country. See, that's my beautiful French accent now. I, so I'm just tired, I don't even know how to speak now. Earthbound, yes, F-Zero, yes please. Final Fantasy 3, uh, Kirby, Superstar, eight games in one. Oh my God, Nintendo's been lying to us. Such 28 games on there. Uh, Kirby Dreams Course, Kirby's Dream Course, I you see I told you I can't speak anymore. Mega Man X Secret of Mana, which this I want to play real bad, because uh, one of my best friends growing up um, used to rave about this game, so I want to try this out. Star Fox 1, and then Star Fox 2, which uh, you need to, I think you need to complete the first chapter of Star Fox 1 before you can unlock Star Fox 2 and play the whole thing. I uh, don't know why. So extra thing that Nintendo does from time to time, which makes no sense. Instead of just uh, letting you kind of play the game right away, no, you've got to you got to go through uh, Star Fox One. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't make anything. You know, it doesn't give them anything extra. But hey, it doesn't matter. Street Fighter Two Turbo. Uh, again, Street Fighter being my favorite fighting game of all time. I'm pretty pleased about that. Castlevania, well, Super Castlevania Four. Uh, never played that. Never played any Castlevania games, so that's gonna be a first for me. Super Ghosts and Ghouls. Oh, so no, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Well, I always get I always get this one back to front, so I don't know why this is. I'm not dyslexic, so I don't even know why I do that. Uh, Super Mario Kart, which I'm gonna play with my daughter a lot. Uh, Super Mario RPG: Legend of the Seven Stars. I, I, to be completely honest, I've never even heard of this game before. Uh, the day they released the game list, so don't know, we'll see about that. Super Mario World, which I own on the 3DS, which is an amazing game. Super Metroid, which, um, yeah, why not? I've got Metroid on the, on the Wii, so, you know, let's, let's see what the original holds. 
Punch Out, Super Punch Out, sorry. I um, used to say Punch Out because I used to own Punch Out on the NES. I see that. I think I might have it coming in soon from eBay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the legendary Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, which I'm currently playing on my Game Boy Advance. If you've, uh, uh, well, if you haven't seen my other video, uh, you've seen that I actually bought that on the Game Boy Advance SP. So, excellent game. I also have it on the 3DS. Next is Super Mario Wars 2 Yoshi's Island, which I think my daughter is going to be playing a lot as well. Contra 3, that means we are back at the start. Um, so if you, I don't know if you can really see there, uh, it says um, pressing up is menu and down is suspended, or well, suspend point list. I think you can pretty much um, stop at any point in any game, go back to the main menu and that will be um, saved as your last point. So you can actually pick up on any game you've just left off and um, start again from wherever you were. Um, what's there? Display. No, no, press B. Sorry. Display. So the CRT filter, which gives you the old school kind of feel on your screen. The 4x3, which is the original aspect ratio um, for the Super Nintendo, and I think the 16 bits in general. That was 4x3. Pixel Perfect, which I think I'm actually play with that. Uh, and the frame, which is uh, obviously everything being 4x3, you'll get. Um, a frame and some sort of background display on each side of the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up yeah cool go back with B and then you've got options right there My, I don't even know what these do um, yeah cool you can reset to factory and then language which we reset at start legal notices which don't really give a fuck and manuals which I think is just a code yeah there you go you can just scan that with your mobile phone and smartphone devices and it take you online to the manual. So there you have it. Um, this is what the Super Nintendo Mini Classic Edition um, contains. I'm gonna go right ahead, I'm not gonna show you any footage because I'm sure you guys have seen it again online so there's no point. I uh, just wanted to show you the list, show you how you set it up and uh, yeah, a quick unboxing. So I'm gonna go and play um, yeah, maybe some sort of, yeah, maybe some Street Fighter 2 uh, right now instead of doing any sort of editing on this video I'm just gonna play that now. Well guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting This was the Super Nintendo Classic Mini Edition unboxing and installation. Thanks for watching again We'll see you in the next one